Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be my favorite type of content. Today we got this ready. We got crazy clips today, so make sure to smash. Oh, 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 my, oh, my, oh, 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 yo. And let's get into it, man. Nukes top five. I'm ready, man. I'm excited, bro. Like, this is episode number 16, 17. Damn, that's crazy how much we have been through right now. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies are back on a new investigation <laughs> Yo, that brings back? them to an old abandoned train station in Piney, Manitoba, Canada. Canada, dang, I'm in Montreal. In the 1960s. In the 1980s, a tormented local man named Dennis drank himself to death in the abandoned Piney train station. Locals dang. believe that his spirit haunts the station to this day. People have seen unexplained shadows in the windows of the train station, and curious explorers who dared to go inside would feel a presence watching them. The Paranormies, Jordan and Johnny, set out to investigate whether <laughs> the stories are true. Once inside the Piney train station, the two friends realize just how badly decayed the building is. The roof Damn. actually seems like it's about to collapse. Yeah. yeah. I think they yeah. need to take oh a my God. chihuahua with them. Like, take a chihuahua with you, like, whenever you're in doubt. No, that's outside. There was a bang. Yep, they're scared, they're trying yeah, to peek like through. The house just busted off. What? That might have been it, because look at the roof. Is yeah, maybe throw hands. Was you? Jordan and Johnny aren't sure whether they just captured something paranormal or something might have fallen from the ceiling. But yeah. the longer they're inside, the stranger the unexplained sounds become. <laughs> stranger? Oh. Glasses breaking. I think they had that Ouija board too. Oh, yo, 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 they had that Ouija board. Glass shattering. Oh, goddamn. This time, the Paranormies team hears the sound of glass shattering somewhere inside the old train station. But again, they can't quite place where the crash came from. But yo, the next sound damn. they hear is even creepier. She's okay, so thanks for the sure. warning. Footsteps. That's upstairs. footsteps. Matter. That's footsteps. Cool. Who's Ovilus? They had that AI app or something? Yeah, maybe, maybe that's the Undertaker. You never know. Maybe that's the Undertaker, the Phenom. <laughs> Upstairs, but nah, man. This thing is going off right now. If you're alone and you hear that upstairs, that's Dennis. crazy, though. E Dennis. Dennis. So there's like another that's person. Loud, dude. I'm going up. Yeah, bro. They should have came in with a Chihuahua, bro. I'm right above them on the second floor. However, when they go up to investigate, there's no one there. Mm. But the two explorers do find the source of one sound they hear. And it is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> You're absolutely like terrifying. I'm ready, bro. Coming through this place. React. Yeah. What's that? React. How was that? Okay, there's a noise there. Okay, just to be what careful. Yo, I'm ready, bro. Dude. Okay, so like three, four shots in. Where the noise is coming from? That door? And it just stopped. I shot it four times, bro. The lock on the door is eerily shaking back and forth on its own. When the investigators get close to the door, the fast-paced rattling mysteriously just stops. Jordan and Johnny decide to do a sensory deprivation session. Jordan covers his eyes and puts headphones in his ears so that the only thing he hears are the answers coming through their spirit box. Meanwhile, Johnny asks questions to the spirit of Dennis that might be haunting the abandoned train station. They get some strange answers. My but guy, like, if you're gonna be really plugging ear, uh, like, earphones in your ear holes like that and fully blast the volume, the volume to the point where you're only gonna hear whatever is gonna come out of this one, it's kinda okay, like, I understand it, but if it goes loud, it's gonna break then your reaction. Then something even it's more gonna... shocking happens. More shocking? All right, I'm ready. Ooh. Bang uh, in the entrance. Here, here. That was you, you're here? Yeah, I would be scared off again, my friend K2. right now, cause. If you can make that noise again, I'll check the K2. If you can make that noise again, let us know. In here. Bah. We'll come over there. Okay, I see no no movement. One, one round fired so far. Bang in the entrance. What? Eat. There's a noise over there. Fuck. Oh my god. My god, I would be scared off my homie Did if you he was. It? Wait, what? Did the bizarre silhouette what? of what looks like the upper half of a person can be seen slowly forming in the hallway. Oh, 
Damn. When Jordan shines his flashlight on the eerie figure, it disappears. Oh, God damn. Eventually, the guys decide to set up a Ouija board to communicate with the spirit. God it did damn. not go well. It did not go well? Knees I, are did you move? It looks like it. it's crooked. Let's get it, boys. I'm hyped. Talking about the, oh, the plan shit. It's right over T, but I thought it was straighter before. Uh, oh, 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 okay, let me the get the big. Died. The light just died. Let me Is get the big. The thing was fully charged. Might be using that energy. Fully charged? Did somebody throw like an EMP? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bat, 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 bat. Yo, yo, run, 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 run. It sounded like everything was falling apart. Oh my God. Oh God, yo, what, what happened? Yo, I'm confused. Oh, the light on their camera dies even though the battery is fully charged. And then the guys have to make a run for it as the station suddenly starts to fall apart all around them. They grab their camera, leave the Ouija board, and just get out of there. So did the Paranormies <laughs> capture supernatural Normies? evidence that proves that the Piney train station is haunted? Did they capture the ghost of Dennis's lingering soul on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know about as this one though. That's uh, yeah, okay, that, that shadow. It could be them though. Honestly, they could have faked it if they wanted to, but at the end of the day though, I, I like this video Always a lot. You decide. Pots? Caught. But on the way the, the look on his face was kind of wild. And to me privately by Nuke's top five viewer, Mary Therese Pagai from the Philippines. Oh no, not this one, bro. That she's a nursing student, and that she was at home with her brother recording a demonstration video for her final exam. Then this happened. Oh, not the... Dude, this is gonna be wild. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verified the client's... No. Now that I have introduced <laughs> myself to the patient, explain the procedure, yeah. and ask for his consent, verify mm -hmm. the client's identity, and provide... Oh, e e e e yo, what's that? Sige, padoy pa, sige na, sige na, sige na. Yo. O, tara, tara, tara. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced <laughs> One, two, three, patient, go, dude. Uh, now she that forgot? I have introduced myself to the patient. <laughs> oh, oh my! my. <laughs> <laughs> the Yo. light flickers for a second, and then just off screen, the closet door forcefully slams open on its own. Scared. Dude, that's such a human thing to do. Whenever you get scared, the first thing you scream is mom or dad or something like that. Oh god! Or there's so much that they run from it. the room. In a follow-up video, Mary shows the closet that burst open. And the story gets truly bizarre. Okay, I so like that, but I don't like it. So this is where it all like began, that. and this is the cabinet. And I'm actually very afraid to touch it or open it. I'm very sorry for the mess. So as you can see, <laughs> this cabinet is full of clothes, and no it's person good, can sister. actually, oh my gosh, fit inside here. Oh my god. And oh this god. is where my brother stood, and this is the light switch. So my brother Yo, was... Okay, so I'm assuming this video... You see that fat TV, bro? Like, that fat TV? I'm assuming this video is quite old, or maybe not. I'm pretty sure there would be people that still would have those fat TVs, and that's perfectly fine. But, yeah, that's one uh, thing I'm like... I'm not thinking me. maybe it's an old video. Uh, filming filming here. I was standing here. But but she, she got that iPhone, or she got that mobile phone, so probably not that old. And my brother was standing here. And the lights actually started to flicker before the cabinet opened. Mm -hmm. And actually, before that, we were actually experiencing um weird things. Wait, what? Somebody laughed. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, Whoop. I'm very. I'm sorry. I'm very scared. But this is what it looks like inside. Yo, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Ko, don't don't. Eh, eh, eh. No person can actually fit inside here. It was actually me and my brother inside this room. Yeah? And right now, I'm not sleeping inside this room. I'm sleeping in my parents' uh, room. Oh my god, I don't Mary know. Mary explains that she is now too scared to sleep in her own room. And maybe she should be. Because oh yeah? during the recording of her follow-up video, a strange voice can be heard. And actually, before that, we were actually experiencing um weird things 
Yeah, I heard that. I was like, somebody laughed? Now, Mary has a YouTube channel, but her videos are entirely dedicated to her nursing education and have nothing at all to do with the paranormal. Furthermore, mm. Mary says that she's always been a skeptic, and before these videos... L listen, man. Uh, yeah, man, I know that uh, some people believe it, some people don't believe it, some people watch it just to be entertained, and I'm one of those guys. I believe in certain aspects, but obviously a lot of videos are fake. But uh, here, though, I would say this. If you're somebody that doesn't run a YouTube channel that is solely dedicated to, uh, like, ghost videos, or if you're not a ghost hunter, right? If you're a normal person, in this case, she's a nurse, and, and she explains stuff like that, and she's seeing stuff like that, or catching stuff that is a little bit unexplained that I'm more than likely to believe Most nothing paranormal had sense. ever happened in her home as for me personally I'd have to say that she genuinely looks terrified in yeah. this clip but what do yeah. you think yeah <laughs> what her remains face was like, like urban this. explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel urbex Hill travels to the city of Warren Ohio to explore the long-abandoned st. Joseph Riverside Hospital the sprawling medical facility was established in the 1960s, and as 60s. with any old hospital, thousands of patients passed away inside its walls. Many people believe that some of those patients oh, never damn. left. Because, you see, the St. Joseph Riverside Hospital is said to be extremely haunted. Extremely? Chris enters the old decaying building, and as oh he explores God. the hospital's cluttered hallways and rotting rooms, he captures some very strange sounds. All right, bro, this is not even a hospital anymore. It's completely torn apart. Oh, god damn, bro. I, yeah, those are chairs, but it, it felt like there was a person there. Yep, yeah, I don't like these videos. These are the, the truly the videos that, you know, hallways when it's dark and especially everything that's like... Oh, it, it, it. What you said to me? Yep, if I, yeah, peekaboo. Come to Papa, I won't hurt you. Come to Papa. Yeah, bro, it's time to just 180. Yeah, just start, just Later, eat, bro. and on a completely different floor, he hears something again. Again, though. Yep, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, bro. I wouldn't. Okay, listen. Now, I'm not sure exactly what these odd sounds could be. Obviously, it might be anything from animals inside the hospital to just some very odd building settling noises. Or possibly even something paranormal. Damn. But either way. Honestly, though, would you actually, if you were given the opportunity to go inside alone, alone, okay, maybe let's say nighttime or not nighttime, whatever time of the day in an abandoned building like that and you have heard rumors that it's uh, uh there might be something inside would you go though would you go i wouldn't i wouldn't because even even if it's a uh, fake or something there might be like some creepy guy inside right Tire there might be Joseph a crack hospital but later on after chris uploads his video observant youtube viewers spot something that chris didn't even notice something mm. downright chilling Something downright chilling. Oh snap! Yeah, this. Oh, 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 oh! This is what I was talking about, man. Hold, oh, oh Two rounds. Two rounds. Two shots. Shots. Okay, they're censoring something there. Yep, I, I saw. Yo. Oh, it's flooded. It's flooded. Did you see it? Yeah, it's bro, very it, easy man. to miss, but what appears to be a hand or arm can be seen quickly disappearing behind a door frame. Dude. Chris has no idea what he's just captured and passes right by the door and continues on to explore the flooded rooms down the hallway. So just yeah. what is this? Could yeah, it, it might simply be, be a squ It might be a gorilla or something. It might be a chimpanzee. You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't go inside, right? Because it's like, if you're alone, you're putting yourself in danger. Water who is living in the old deserted building? Or could it be one of the spirits that roam the old hospital hallways? Let me... Or you know what? It might be a bat. Okay, realistically, it might be a bat, it might be a crow. Uh, but, but still, though, it is a little bit creepy, What do you obviously. think? Meanwhile, on TikTok. Number TikTok two. TikTok user Dino Nugget 741 claims that ever since he saw a quote voodoo lady in New Orleans seven years ago, that something followed him home and that the entity has not left him alone ever since. 
He says that the mysterious spirit even follows him when he moves to a new house. He records his terrifying experiences and posts them to TikTok. One night, in an attempt to cleanse his brand new home in Colorado with Sage, the TikTok user captures something absolutely horrifying. Oh snap, okay. So it, it, it's to do with the voodoo and stuff? I mean, we always heard the voodoo stuff, but I don't know how it works, what it is, what it does. So I had to replay Zoom, then Not I saw his face. Man. I think he's gonna spot a face. Bah, 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 bah. Oh my god, yeah, I saw that. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Come on out, man. Yo, I'm taking the big shotty. I fired a couple of rounds, but the thing just moved slowly, so it wasn't in pain as though the bullets kind of traveled through. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. As he oh, opens damn. the door to the basement, a dark figure can be seen standing at the bottom of the staircase, just kind of staring up at him. When he turns on the light, the figure disappears out of sight. He checks out the basement, but there's no one there. Then strangely, he hears it the voice be, uh... of what sounds like a laughing woman from upstairs, and the door slams shut. So is it real? It might be a prank, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's a homie of his that was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit inside. I'm gonna stay inside the building. Uh, and when you come down, he's gonna go around because he's like trying to film the, the, the front, right? So he can come, come from the back, he's gonna go upstairs, and then he's gonna lock the door in. Bill, or is Could this be that? bizarre Could haunting be that. just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok user Dom Matigan says that his family home in Chicago was built in 1929, and that the original owner, a man named Richard Spencer, took his own life after he suffered financial ruin during the Great Depression. For years, Dom and his family have heard the strange sounds of footsteps, knocking, and even banging inside their home. The family believes that the ghost of Richard Spencer haunts the home. Oh, One night Why around 11 p.m., like Dom that? is home alone when suddenly the angry ghost makes a terrifying return. Dom grabs his phone and starts to record. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, so... I'm literally home alone. Listen to how loud and aggressive it is. Dang. God damn. Oh my god. The, the, why are you making a face like That's that? He's moving. hyped though. Now, obviously Dom doesn't seem to be frightened at all by the incident. But Dom explained that he's heard the banging so many <laughs> times now that it doesn't even really scare him anymore. Yeah, like... Weeks later, it happens again, and Dom is ready. Okay, so we're back in the house. Oh, he ready? Every few seconds, there's another. Pow! <laughs> 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 Get the <laughs> out of here! Get the <laughs> out of here! He runs toward the door and opens it, but again, no one there. And yeah, he's like, like, yo, who's your daddy now, bruh? If Dom started to knock back. Another night, and Dom decides to test it out. Oh snap. Okay, so I'm just, I'm trying to get ready for bed. And there's another one. Oh, there, 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 there. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's been asking me to try and knock back. Oh snap. <laughs> you f***ing dick. Dom steps outside <laughs> and knocks on the door himself. But the response actually comes from the closet door next to him. These days, Dom says that instead of being scared by the haunting, it has actually started to become a tiring nuisance. Dom is currently making plans to move to a new house. Yeah. So is Dom's family home haunted by an angry ghost? You decide. But it, that's kind of crazy that he has witnessed so much that right now he's completely numb to that, bro. Matigan. Lol. So he's last week, numb. I featured the story of Maddie Bark, who believes that a dark entity followed her home after she went on a paranormal investigation at a cemetery. Oh snap, oh, snap. this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good, I think. Maddie? Ye Maddie? Oh my god. Oh, 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 my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, oh, god, oh, oh, my god. Yo, did you yo, move? Yo! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Maddie says that she often sees a creepy translucent figure on the property around her home, seemingly oh getting closer and closer to the house. 
Since the video, Maddie went on a TikTok live stream ghost investigation in her own backyard in an attempt to capture the bizarre figure again. Her live stream viewers are shocked when they see something that Maddie just can't see. Bro, she live streamed? These are the trees. She live streamed and spotted that? That. Oh, hell no. Keeps getting foggy. And it's actually kind of clear. Well, obviously, you can't Shotgun see Shotgun got a fat burst. It's so. like super clear. Bah! Yeah, there was somebody the same there. strange there pale translucent there. apparition seems to appear right in front of Maddie. But what do you think? You can follow Maddie's paranormal experiences over on her YouTube channel Listen. and TikTok page. She did not really react to that though, right? What? Uh, so is she claiming that she didn't see but she saw when uh, uh, after she saw the video or what? Maddie Bark. The Red House. Number Paranormal one, investigator boys. Kevin Barranco from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto travels to Guadalajara, Mexico to explore the historic La Casa Colorada, which La translates Casa. to the Red House. The house that was built in 1923 heist, and for years functioned right? as military barracks before becoming a hospital. The hospital was eventually closed down and the property was left empty and abandoned. Stories circulated that the remote and secluded location became a place where cults performed dark rituals. Oh, Curious man. visitors claimed to have seen witches, demons, and the skeletal female figure of Santa Muerte, a Mexican saint who is said to wear a long cloak and be the personification of death itself. Kevin oh, is joined yeah, by his friends as they explore the creepy location, but the group begins to get a little nervous when they hear ah! odd noises Pretty coming sure from got all some. around them. Pretty sure I got somebody. Pretty sure. Okay. Unexplained bang. No mames. Escucho el ruido de acá de este lado. I heard that noise over there. Where? Ay, cabrón. Over there, no way, dude. Tranquilos, tranquilos, tranquilos. Easy, guys. Tranquilos. I'm scared. Easy, 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 easy. In French, it would be tranquil. So tranquilo, that's Spanish. It wasn't the yeah. Spanish and French is very similar, right? I do speak French. The group finds strange symbols and words written on the walls inside the structure, both in Spanish and oddly in English too. And mm. again, they hear something. Downright chilling, right? Just say it at this point, you top five, bro. It's an, Engl it's an English word that I won't say, so we remain protected. But inside this word, there's a name that's very... I heard something, yeah, clearly, he said. Unexplained breath. Wait, what? Loud and clear, dude? I don't know if... The camera seems to capture the sound of an unexplained deep breath coming from somewhere in the darkness. Unexplained breath? As they continue investigating the writing on the walls, they capture something downright chilling. Okay, there it is! There it is! Downright chilling! That's where we bring the big ones. Uh, there's sentences all over the walls. Yo, I like the color of this video. It's like blue. It's maybe some were made by vandals. We don't really know their meaning. And we don't want to know about it either. Yeah, I see you, man. Oh my god. Oh, 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 right there, right there, bro. What appears to be a cloaked right figure can be seen walking inside the structure. But the Archivo Extinto team are completely unaware of what they have just captured. Yeah, I... So could it be that... Ke Sadly, I couldn't take a shot because he was in my way, you know what I mean? Kevin I couldn't... And his team captured the apparition of Santa Muerte, the cloaked lady of death. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I really enjoyed this. If you want to see more, click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there.